Debbie Lynn, come on in. I want to share with you today a recipe that I love dearly. I created, it's called Whistling Jack's Blackberry Coffee Cake. And what it has in it is flour, sugars, blackberries, buttermilk, baking powder, baking soda, sea salt, butter, sour cream, cream cheese, vanilla, cinnamon, all those things that we love. So let's get started. We're going to begin by adding a stick and a half of soft butter with a cup and a half of sugar. Let's just blend that. Great. Now we're going to be adding our three eggs. teaspoons of vanilla you get a spoon for us and eight ounces of sour cream and let's mix that up okay we have mixed uh, the wet ingredients together and I went ahead and mixed my dry ingredients together. I have two and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And let's place the dry ingredients in with the wet and mix that. I've placed in this small bowl the topping that goes on top of the um, blackberry coffee cake. It's a half a cup of brown sugar, three tablespoons of flour, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and three tablespoons of butter. So let's mix this up. You want to keep it just a little bit crumbly. And this will be placed on top of the coffee cake. Here I have 12 ounces of blackberries, and I've drained those a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of flour to those blackberries so that when I mix them into the coffee cake, they will be less likely to sink to the bottom. Okay, and let's place this. into my wet dry ingredient. I'm going to fold that in. I mean, can you beat blackberries? Okay, here I have my blackberries folded into my wet dry mixture and I have buttered a, a pan that I'm going to be using for my um, Whistling Jack's Blackberry Coffee Cake. So let's put our batter and place our batter in the pan. Okay, and now let's place my crumbled topping mixture on top. And it's ready to go into the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes. We'll keep an eye on it. We don't want it to overcook. My inspiration for my Whistling Jack Blackberry Coffee Cake came a couple of years ago and I was sitting in a cafe on a river and you could see the river running by and the wind was blowing the trees. It was just beautiful. I had ordered a blueberry coffee cake and it was so fabulous. I thought, I've got to come up with my own coffee cake. It's Whistling Jack time. While my blueberry coffee cake is baking in the oven, 
On top of the stove, I whipped up together, I used a low fat cream cheese, eight ounces, and I placed that in the pan with a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and I heaping one eighth of a cup of sugar. And I mixed that, I let that just simmer on the stove, put a little, about a, about a fourth of a cup of milk, or almond milk, or rice milk, whatever uh, you choose to use, just enough so I could uh, spread this and pour this on my Whistling Jack Blackberry coffee cake. So let's place this on top. Beautiful. My Whistling Jack's Blackberry Coffee Cake. I'm so happy that you stopped by to spend time with me today. Please subscribe to Debbie Lynn's Welcome Kitchen. Just tap that button and please leave a comment because I love, love reading your comments. Just remember in life it's the simple things that bring the most pleasure. See you soon.